happening everybody hope you guys are all doing good and welcome to another beginner to advanced training this one is going to be about charog or shellless fire turtle now this happens to be a great behemoth to farm rare items from but first i'm going to talk about some other stuff before i get to that now first i'm going to talk about some basic tactics then weapons we'll talk about elements quickly run over some armor builds and then we'll get to the rare items this should be fun. So if this is your first time meeting me, what's up? I'm Team Kills, and my goal here is to make gaming easy. Err. So if this helps, join the team of killers, become a killer of teams. Now on that note, let's get right to it. Now the first thing I know we can all agree, fire, it's bad. That burning effect will kill you, whether you're careful or not. Now, especially when you get to the fire band and the heroic versions of this guy, then even if you're careful, you might burn to death. So, it's the best idea for everyone to watch out for his fireballs, his lava puddles, his fire stack spinning top move. It's pretty slow, but pretty dangerous. And his heat seeking molten, molten lava balls. And any fire patches that you see on the ground. All of these are, will catch you on fire. You got a little meter up there, and you're gonna burn maybe to death but you're gonna burn until that meter runs out now those molten fireballs that chase you when you're dealing with them it's a good idea you can blow them up train them back to the behemoth or just run away whatever you do don't ignore them because those things hurt on top of setting you on fire now when it comes to learning his patterns they're pretty easy but if you don't want to learn them I say stay close to his head and one of his shoulder areas. Now he does have an arm slam swipe attack, but most of his attacks will miss you or you'll see him coming from a mile away. Plus, you might break one of his fire stacks. Now when he starts to do his fire top move, it's going to be dangerous, but not as dangerous as it was before. This is why I say it's a good place to hang out. Now at this point, I would usually tell you which weapon I think is the best in, for the job, in my opinion, through testing. But through testing, I found there I haven't had any issues with any of the weapons. This guy's almost defenseless. I've had the most amount of fun with the hammer class, the strikers, and the axe. But, yeah, any weapon will do. Especially if you have an ice version of it. So whatever weapon you're best with is a good one to bring for this fight. Maybe. Now what we really need to do is decide what we want to do to this naked fire turtle. Do we just want to kill him? Maybe you want to wound him up because we're in a group of happy hammering heroes. Or maybe you're a hero with happy hammering aspirations yourself. You want to push him around in a stagger build. Now me personally, I had the most fun in a part build running around throwing my axe like a screaming barbarian. So why choose? What I like to do here is make gaming easier, so what I'm going to do is show you a build for each one of those. A wound build, a stagger build, and a part build. And like I said, I have fun pushing this guy around, so you can choose whichever one you want. Now when it comes to elements, I'm only going to quickly mention this only because every once in a while I see guys get confused. Well actually, it's kind of more than once in a while, it happens more than you think. So the easiest way to explain this is to say the element that's doing the attacking is the element that's going to win. So if you have a fire and you put a bunch of ice or snow on it, the fire's gonna go out because the snow is doing the attacking. So when you're fighting this fire guy, you want to have an ice weapon. Now if you have a wall of ice and you got a flamethrower on it, the fire is attacking the wall of ice so it's gonna melt the ice so when it comes to fighting this fire guy you don't want ice armor basically you want the opposite element for your weapon and the same element for your armor that's elements now this technically is one of the easier behemoths to hunt solely because he's kind of slow except for when you get the heroic version that guy's always in rage and run well he's not really running around the place but he's he's not slow but I found with the right weapon and the right build, being a part build, this is a good behemoth to farm rare items from. Now in each element class, you're going to get different rare items. So instead of naming off the rare item, I'm going to tell you how to get rare items, period. Now the first thing you need to make sure is that the behemoth is level 8 or higher. 
Then, if you break a part off them when they're enraged, doesn't matter what part, you will get a special rare item. The other way to get a special rare item is to break a tail piece off of the behemoth within the first two or three minutes. Just shoot for two. That way you're 100% good of a level eight behemoth or higher. Now they give you different rare items depending on the class, but this is how you get them. So guys, on that note, I really, really hope this has helped. If it has, join the team of killers. Become a killer of teams. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. It's the only way we can talk. Keep it easy. And remember, kill this naked fire turtle. I mean, just keep gaming. Thank you.